This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, what is the area of the triangle? So to find the area of a triangle, you're always going to use this formula. Area equals one half base times height, where the base is right here in this case. It's going to be six. It's the distance from here to here. And the height of the triangle is always going to be from its apex, that is its tallest point, straight down. So that is our height. It's currently unknown. That said, when we draw a line straight down in this triangle, we actually create two right triangles, and we can actually use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what the height of this triangle is. Again, the Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the legs of the right triangle, and c is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always directly across from the right angle, so we know c is going to be 6. Uh, the legs are H, so I'm going to let A be H. And the other leg is from this line to this edge here. If this whole base is 6, that means this is going to be 3. So our B is going to be 3. So this becomes uh, H squared plus 3 squared equals 6 squared. Of course, we're going to be solving this for H, so let's work on doing that. This becomes... 8 squared plus 3 squared is 3 times 3 or 9 equals 6 squared. 6 times 6 is 36. Again, let's move 9 to the other side via subtraction. This becomes h squared equals 36 minus 9 is 27. And to get h by itself, we're going to take the square root of both sides. In doing so, this crosses out, leaving you with h. What is the square root of 27? Well, that's the same thing as the square root of 9 times 3. And we could break this apart to be the square root of 9 times the square root of 3. The square root of 9, as you should know, is going to be 3. So this is 3 square root 3. So in other words, the height of our triangle is now 3 square root 3. And we found that using the Pythagorean theorem. Now we can find the area of the triangle. It's 1 half. Its base, as I mentioned, is 6 times its height, which is 3 radical 3. And let's go ahead and work this out. 1 half times 6 is going to be 3, so this becomes 3 times 3 radical 3. 3 times 3 radical 3 is going to be 9 radical 3. So the area of this triangle is 9 radical 3. The answer choice is D, of course.